Well, there are the people who answer your call at a moment's notice. 911 dispatchers work around the clock, helping people when they need it. Recently, one dispatcher not only responded to a call, but helped a young person who was looking to take his own life. In an eyewitness exclusive, Carice Jackman spoke with a young woman who is being called a hero. Here at the 911 call center, call takers usually have about 3,000 calls a day, responding to people who are sometimes in the worst situation of their lives. Recently, a responder called somebody, helping that person out and saving their life. City of New Orleans 911, what's the address of your emergency? It's the first voice you often hear when you dial 911. All right, sir, we'll get the police out of it. From fires to shootings, these women and men work 12-hour shifts, always on alert. It's that watchful eye and ear which kicked into gear when Shanice Walker got a terrifying call in July. I've gotten many suicide calls before, but it was always threatening, never the attempt to do so. Walker's worked at the call center for four years. She remembers a man in her ear crying out for help. It came from the victim's friend. He called and said that his friend wanted to end his life, but didn't know why. So I asked for the victim's phone number. The young man answered. Walker found out he's a senior in high school. The student told Walker he was at the Algiers levee, about to jump into the water. Going through my mind at that time, I was like, why? She tried talking to him, convincing the young man his life is worth living. Getting through that problem with him, he decided not to jump. My heart was relieved. You're the people who citizens depend on. Wednesday, Mayor LaToya Cantrell toured the 911 call center, speaking with dispatchers directly, thanking them for their service. They are on the front line. They are first responders. Thank you so much. Mayor Cantrell personally greeted and thanked Walker for her heroic efforts. We are seeing uh, an uptick even in suicides in our city. And I want to make sure that we are addressing this head on. For Walker, working hard and quickly responding to emergencies comes with the job. I want the citizens of New Orleans to feel like they can call 911 and actually get the help that they deserve. And if you have fallen on hard times, there is a number that you can call to get help. You can see it at the bottom of your screen here. And we'll also have it on our website, www.tv.com. At the 911 Call Center in New Orleans, I'm Carice Jackman, Eyewitness News.